This is an exponentialism logarithms question. Give it a go first. If you get stuck on anything, then just skip through the video to the various parts of the question to see my hints. So with these kinds of questions, we are trying to find a mistake that a student has made and you're given the students working. I recommend you try the question first yourself without looking at the student's solution. So try solving this. That is a hidden quadratic. So think about how you would go about solving that if it is a hidden quadratic. And then once you have your solution, compare what you have to the student's attempt and hopefully you should be able to find the two mistakes. So first part is to split up the two to the power of two x plus four. So then we can use the uh, one of the uh, indices laws. So if we were to have x to the power of a plus b, this is the same thing as x to the power of a, x to the power of b. And so that first term becomes two to the power of two x, two to the power of four. And the two to the power of two x that we have here and the two to the power of x, they're not the same thing. So we can't replace uh, that with y or x. Well, not x because we already have x in there. We can't replace it with y just yet. We need to change what we have here. And then we can use another rule. We can use the fact that x to the power of a times b is the same thing as x to the power of a all to the power of b. So I can rewrite that first part specifically as 2 to the power of x all squared. And then the 2 to the power of 4 is just uh, 16. And then minus 9 times 2 to the power of x. So this is now a quadratic. We can say let y equals 2 to the power of x. And this then becomes 16y squared minus 9y is equal to 0. And from here, it should be pretty straightforward to solve. Now it's just a quadratic. So factorize out the y. So we end up with y times 16y minus 9 is equal to 0. So we get y is 0, 16y minus 9 is 0. This, if you rearrange it, becomes 9 over 16. Now remember that y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So then we can replace both of those things with 2 to the power of x. 2 to the power of x is 0. 2 to the power of x is 9 over 16. 2 to the power of x can't be 0. If we think of a graph of 2 to the power of x, this is a generic graph of y is equal to a to the power of x, where a is a number bigger than 1. Um, it crosses at 0, 1. And it approaches, uh, well, the y coordinate approaches 0 as we go towards the left. So there is a horizontal asymptote with equation y is equal to 0. It's the x-axis. And this equation we can solve. Easiest way, just do log to the base 2 of both sides. The log to the base 2 cancels out with this 2. So this becomes log to the base 2 of 9 over 16. This can't simplify any further. So that is our final answer. And that is part B done. So for part A, if you, if you were stuck on this question and now you've seen my work and you see how you do part B, now have a look at what the student did and see if you can identify the errors that they have made. So let's go through this step by step. So, okay, so the first line of working that we have here is just rewriting the equation. So obviously there's nothing, well, if you look at it closely, yeah, there's nothing wrong there. Part B is all fine. Second step, looks like the student has tried to split this up into two parts and we can see from what we did how this turned into this that there is our first mistake. So let's just, for now, put this in a box and we'll come back to writing it out in a second. Okay, so let's now assume that this line is correct and go to the next line and see well, where the second mistake would be. So assuming this is now correct, let 2 to the power of x equals y, okay, we did the same kind of thing. And then he says y squared minus 9y plus 8. So y squared, that comes from this. We had that as well. If you remember, we had 2 to the power of 2x. And that 2 to the power of 2x became y squared. So that bit's fine. 
2 to the power of 2x is y squared if y is equal to 2 to the power of x. Second bit, 2 to the power of 4, that should be 16. It says plus 8 here instead. So there's our second mistake. The minus 9 of, of uh, minus 9 times 2 to the power of x. Um, that's correct, minus 9y. So yeah, it is the 2 to the power of 4 becomes plus 16 rather than plus 8. So there's our two errors. So let's just write them out. And that is part A, done.